Police often use canine units to help with drug and fire investigations, but now some dogs are sniffing out something new. An Indiana man is training them to pick up on the smell of electronic devices like thumb drives and memory cards. As Barbara Brozier reports, a handful of police departments across the country are already using the dogs to help solve cases. <laughs> This energetic Labrador isn't seeking out See. treats. Good. See. He's See. sniffing for evidence. See. See. The dog's name is Chase, and he was a rescue dog. Chase is practicing to become an electronic detection canine. Todd Jordan's trained several dogs to aid in fire investigations, but now he's teaching them to sniff out the chemicals used in data storage devices. I had to pay a chemist to actually find find the actual odor. Um, so it's, it's, it's an odor that's within the actual SD cards, the thumb drives, uh, cell phones. It's an idea Jordan got after talking to a friend who works on the Internet Crimes Against Children See. Task Force. Investigators See. can spend days See. searching for physical See. evidence in a child yeah. pornography case. Jordan thought if he could train dogs to detect the smell of the devices, it could help. Show me. When one Show of these search warrants take place, there's 20 investigators there and the dog comes Something in and can cut their time in half or maybe See, within the first 10-15 minutes on, can find um, devices See, that could come back to be great evidence for them. See. And it seems to be working. Jordan's first dog, Bear, helped collect evidence at Jared Fogel's home. The former Subway spokesperson is serving time in prison after pleading guilty to child pornography and sex crimes last year. Cecilia Wiley is a detective with the Internet Crimes Against Children unit. She says Jordan's dogs have helped quickly track down evidence in several other cases. We go into these houses that are just, a lot of times, just jammed, packed full of stuff, and we're human. We're going to make mistakes. We're going to miss something. Joliet, Illinois is one of several communities benefiting from these special canine units. Communities can purchase them for about $10,000, and they say here it's already paying off. Let's go to work. Joliet received its canine unit named Cash in November, and his handler Megan Brooks admits she was skeptical at first. I took him home for the weekend, and I walked in the door, and I screamed to my daughter, would you please hide your cell phones, because I'm going to come in with the dog, and I want him to search for your cell phone, and she screamed back at me, no mom, I have I can't find my cell phone. I haven't been able to find it for two days. And so we had it in anyway, and uh, he ended up actually finding her cell phone. So. That's when I became a believer. Here's how it works. Come on, seek. Brooks points seek. to an area she wants Cash to sniff seek. out. Seek. And when Cash hits on a scent, seek. He takes two steps Show back me. and sits down. Show me. Brooks asks him Show to me. point to the area where he smells Show the device. Me. Good boy. And he's rewarded with a handful of food. And what we have here on the shelf is a uh, looks like a composition book, but it's actually a broken iPad. Will County State's attorney Jim Glasgow says he's already getting requests from other agencies who are interested in taking cash out on search warrants. The DEA came and, and asked uh, for a consult, so that doesn't happen. They're not going to waste their time if they think this isn't you know, real science. He anticipates more departments will see the value in purchasing a canine electronic detection unit of their own. So does Jordan who's training his seventh dog for the job. He says they're a tool investigators simply can't duplicate. We can smell a drop of gasoline, um, but to smell a micro SD, I mean, a human can't do that. For Indiana News Desk, I'm Barbara Brozier.